Well, hello there, whiskey folk. Yep, it's another week. You know what it means? Yes, absolutely. It's another brand new video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to do a Highland distillery. It's probably not as well known as most. In fact, it's the Knock Do distillery. It's traded under the name of Anok. Uh, they've changed the name because there's a little bit of confusion with the No Can Do distillery. So the Knock Do have decided to call it Anok. Um, it's, a, it's the first Anok I've tried. Uh, I'm going to do the 12 year old and I'm going to compare it against the 18 year old. It's owned, it's up there in Banffshire in the Highlands. It's owned by Inverhouse, which have hit the press recently. Because uh, Inverhouse own five distilleries. They own Old Pulteney, which as you can see I'm quite a fan of Old Pulteney. They own Balblair, they own Anok, they own Spayburn and they own Balmenic. Uh, I'll come on to Inverhouse a little bit later, um, but with what I'm going to try and do is tell you a little bit about Anok. Uh, it's one of those distilleries, it's, I says it's up there in the Highlands. It was founded in 1893. It's a very, very traditional distillery. Everything's done with the old traditional practices. I don't think there's anything computerised at the distillery. It has two stills at Anok. It's the one wash still and one spirit still and they produce 1.7 million litres of alcohol annually. Their core range is currently the 12 year old and the 18 which we're going to do both today. They do do some cast strength bottles and they do other bottles from time to time. So without any further ado guys I'm going to crack on. I'm going to give you a nose and a taste. I'm going to compare the difference between the 12 year old and the 18 year old. See what the six years does. So, let's crack on with this Anok 12. See, this is bottled at 40% ABV. The 18's bottled at 46% ABV, but we'll come on to that in a minute. But the, at 40%, I know in the States it's 43% ABV, so I would, I would love this to be the same, but I'll, I'll come on, let's, let's nose it. This is, this is matured in ex-American oak and some Spanish oak. The first thing that hits you guys on this nose is it's such a fresh and vibrant nose. You almost forget that it's only 40% ABV. It's so sweet, so fruity. It's very citrus, the, the citrus is lemon, it's very, very lemon. Again, it's a sweet, sweet lemon. There's almost a, almost a touch of tropical about it. It's that, that kind of fruity, that kind of sweet, almost sugary. The honey kicks in, the vanilla kicks in. And then at the same time, it's quite grassy and it's quite earthy. And it's a little salty, so it almost reminds, and it's very, very complex on the nose. This guy's it's such complexity. The, the other one that reminds me with, with that complexity at forty percent ABV in a twelve-year-old is the Crag and More Twelve. And anyone that knows me, guys, if there was one bottle that I could bottle at forty-six percent ABV and non-chill filtered and natural coloured, it would be the Crag and More Twelve. But this, this is glorious, this is wonderful. Really, really complex, really fruity, really sweet. And as it develops, there's some apples come in. And then it gets, I see that it's, it's the bit of salt there. It's gone a bit oaky, bit of wood oak. And then it's nutty, so it, it starts off really sweet. It starts to dry out through the nose. Gets a little drier notes. But let's taste it, slanch. Wow. 
Wow. This is £31, guys, in the UK. For that money, this should be in everyone's cabinet. I'm ashamed to say that it's not in mine because this is the first time I've tried the Arnock 12. But I'll tell you now, just on that first initial sip, as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to go online and I'm going to buy a couple of bottles. But it's wonderful, wonderful stuff. It's fresh, it's fruity. On the arrival, it's 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 bright. It's actually quite chewy. And then the lemon kicks in. It's very, very lemon orientated. It's very juicy, very sweet. That sweet, juicy fruits there. It's a fantastic mouthfeel. Coats the whole palate. It's still quite light. You can tell it's it's only 12 years old. It's quite young. And as it develops, the apples come in. The vanilla, honey, it's still very, very sweet. But it's got that kind of confectionery sweet note. And as it's developing, it's starting to dry out. So the salt's kicking in. The woody notes kicking in, and the, oh, there's a bit of ginger spice there now, and the hazelnut is there, so it's quite nutty on the end. So all in all, that's that's a really really nice dram. On my first taste of that, it's wonderful stuff, guys. I'm actually going to try a little sip more just to kind of just to, because I can. Wonderful, wonderful. Even at forty percent, it's it's nice. No need for any water. This would be awesome at forty six. On the finish, it's still sweet, lemony, salty, nutty, oaky. The touch touch of smoke. And it's very dry on the end. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful stuff, guys. If if the 18's better than this, it's going to be outstanding. But anyway, without any further ado, let's crack on with the 18. On the nose. Okay. Difference straight away between the 12 and the 18 is there's more sherry in this. Got a bigger sherry note. I'm sure it's all the rosso. Again, this is this is sweet. This is this is done from ex bourbon barrels, ex sherry casks. I think the note that there's got there's some American oak and there's some European oak. On the nose straight away guys, as I said, there's more sherry. But it's a bit maltier. It's a bit more oatmeal. A bit more biscuit. Dare I say porridge. I hope that's not on the taste. But it is very biscuity. And there's some ginger spice there. Which there's a little bit of ginger on the, the 12, but the ginger's here as well. And, and there's some chocolate. So I'm actually getting a note of those kind of dark chocolate ginger biscuits. The honey's there, some vanilla. Got some cherries coming in. This is complex as well, guys. And again, it's gone quite nutty. And the Oloroso is the, the definitely there. Wow, I'm looking forward to this on the palate now. This, this is these two whiskies, guys, are exciting me. Um, I can't believe I've never tried these before. So, let's try the 18. Wish me luck. Don't think I'll need it.
Okay. The difference, straight up, is you know this is 46% ABV. It's a bit more heat. It's juicy. In the 12 year old there was more lemon. This, this is a bit more orange. It's a bit more burnt orange. Dark chocolate's there, but the real character that's in this is the malt. It's more oatmeal. It's more biscuit. Glad to say the porridge is gone. But yeah, you notice the heat. There's a little bit more heat at 46% ABV. That's why I think that 12 year old, if they made that at 46, it'd be outstanding. As it develops, it's it's rich. I've got some honey and some caramel. And see the ginger's there. There's a touch of smoke coming in now, so it's getting a bit, little bit smoky. Not not massively, it's just a hint in the background. And it's dry and it's nutty. So most of the things that are on the the nose are there in the palate. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. I'm going to have another little sip just for the finish. Okay. It's it's medium to long, favouring a little bit on the longer side, because it's still... You've got the orange citrus, chocolate, smoke, spicy ginger, and then right at the end it goes, as it starts off really, really sweet, and as it goes through the development and comes towards the finish, it starts to lose the sweetness and go a bit more saltier, a bit more drier, and a bit more nuttier. Um, so it's beautiful, it's a great development. And it lasts, it lingers. The nuts are hanging around, the spice is hanging around, the ginger's hanging around, and the touch of smoke. The orange is hanging on as well, guys, so it's trying its best to hang on as long as it can. 74 pounds, again, outstanding value. 31 pounds £31 for the 12 year old, 74 pounds for the 18 year old. The reason I'm concerned and why I'm reviewing these at the minute is I know Inverhouse is, they've been in the news for the wrong reasons at the minute guys because of obviously the old Pulteney rebranding and the Bal Blair rebranding is that the prices have just went crazy. Uh, these two for me, the prices are super, super competitive. I'd love to fall in love with these, but I'm a little bit concerned because if I fall in love with them, I'll keep buying them. But I don't want to be paying £50 for the 12 year old and I don't want to be paying £125 for the 18 year old if the rebranding continues at Anok. I know they've done it at Balbley and they've done it at uh, Old Pulteney. I'm just hoping if anyone from Inverhouse is watching, then please leave these bottles as they are because they're absolutely fantastic. They're competitive, they're great. They should be in everyone's cabinet. They should be selling barrel loads and case loads of these, these bottles at this kind of money. Um, and if you've tried it, then drop me a comment down below, guys. If you haven't tried it, I'd seriously recommend Pop on the online guys or go to your local shop and knock out 31 quid, 74 quid. These are definitely worth buying and I think once you buy them, it's what not one of those well-known brands. Uh, I think it's a little secret gem, I've just discovered it now. So hopefully if I'm sharing with you guys, uh, the whole ethos of this channel is all about sharing. Just remember folks, the pleasure is in the sharing, as, they, as I like to say. I'm going to end it now, hope you've enjoyed it, hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, I'm actually going to just finish this off when I end this video, and I'm Alan, I'm the Whiskey Friend, 
Until next week, guys, it's been a pleasure. Hope to see you all again very soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.